Baking Basics Become a better baker by learning the real differences between baking powder and baking soda. Today I'm discussing one of the most confusing subjects in the entire realm of baking. What is the difference between baking powder and baking soda? If there is one thing that you take away from today's lesson, let it be this. Baking powder and baking soda are absolutely not the same. Baking powder and baking soda are both leaveners, however they are chemically different. When you mix baking soda base with vinegar acid, you get a chemical reaction, an eruption of bubbles. A product of this reaction is carbon dioxide. The same exact reaction happens in our cookies, cakes, bread, etc. When a recipe calls for baking soda, it usually calls for some type of acid like buttermilk, brown sugar, yogurt, lemon juice, or vinegar. You need this acid in the recipe to react with the baking soda, which in turn creates carbon dioxide and allows your baked good to rise. Baking powder contains baking soda. It is a mixture of baking soda, cream of tartar, and sometimes cornstarch. These days, most baking powder sold is double acting. This means that the first leavening occurs when baking powder gets wet, like when you combine the dry and wet ingredients in the recipe. The second leavening occurs when the baking powder is heated. Thumb rule. I usually use around 1 quarter teaspoon of baking soda per 1 cup of flour in a recipe, and 1 teaspoon of baking powder per 1 cup of flour in a recipe. Some recipes call for both baking powder and baking soda. Basically, the reason for both is because sometimes you need more leavening than you have acid available in the recipe. It's all about balance. How to test baking powder. To test baking powder, pour 3 tablespoons of warm water into a small bowl. Add 1 half teaspoon of baking powder. Give it a light stir. The mixture should moderately fizz if the powder is fresh. If there is no reaction, toss the baking powder and buy a fresh package. How to test baking soda. To test baking soda, pour 3 tablespoons of white distilled vinegar into a small bowl. Add 1 half teaspoon of baking soda. Give it a light stir. The mixture should rapidly bubble if the soda is fresh. If there is no reaction, toss the baking soda and buy a fresh package. Hope this would be helpful for the bakers out there.